A Somaliland mother of seven sits for the medical entrance examination at the University of Hargeisa after giving birth to a child. The mother is strong and heady. CBA news anchor Hamza Dabjirin has paid a visit and here is the emotional story. Somali women face many challenges in society that have different implications for their lives, including education and decision-making platforms, whether cultural or political. Despite this, there are Somali women who are committed to achieving their goals in the face of these various challenges. Sabad Muhammad is one of those women. She is a mother of seven children. It was recently when she applied to the University of Hargeisa for medicine, but faced a difficult challenge. It coincided with the time of her maternity and the time to sit for the entrance exam of the university, and she finally decided to sit for the exams of the giving path. To find out more about her history, we visited her workplace. She told me that her housework could not stop her from studying and improving herself. The particular interest was that Sabad became the top students of the exam. I applied for medicine at the University of Hargeisa. Now the um, admission was um, in, in September and uh, I was expecting, so I went to the university and I explained to them my story that I'm expecting and the exam is going to be early October. So I explained to them I need some more time because it will be uh, very challenging and difficult for me to sit for the exam when I just had the baby. I was expecting the baby end of September and the exam was going to be, uh, we had to sit for the exam in the beginning of October. Now when I spoke to the university they said it was kind of difficult for them to um, do that because it's, uh, they have very strict policy when it comes to applying for um, medicine because there are a lot of students that are applying. Okay. And uh, I, was, I was really worried. I had to think about what to do. Should I sit for the exam, knowing that you know, I will have a newborn baby and I won't be able to do well? I had to decide whether to sit for the exam this year or um, to you know, just wait and prepare myself for next year. Um, and I had to make the decision. So I thought about it and I said, you know what, the best thing is just to give it a try and see what happens instead of waiting a whole year. Um, things might go well and that's what I did. Alhamdulillah, I uh, made it into uh, to the university and they've informed me that I was chosen, which was very exciting. Many Somali women believe that women cannot study or improve themselves when they get married, but Sabad believes in a different view. When it comes to uh, women in education, um, in nowadays, I think a lot of women and a lot of girls are studying. They are doing really well. Uh, in terms of stereotypes, uh, some people believe that women should not be pursuing higher uh, education, that they should not be studying because they will get married, they will become moms and housewives, therefore they don't need the education. Okay? So that's, that's a small minority, not a lot of people, but some people think like that. And uh, of course the challenges, uh, moms or women in general, they do face the challenges, especially when women get married and they have family to run. There's a lot of responsibilities, so it becomes really difficult to manage um, running a family, having a family, being a mom, studying. But in general, I would say Somali women are very strong and women in general, they can definitely manage a lot of things. And now we can see there are a lot of women, they are professionals, doctors, nurses, teachers, they have family life, they're studying. So they are definitely capable. And we should definitely be encouraging young girls to, to study. Because at the end of the day, even if you're a mom, you are going to raise human beings and you are going to become the teacher for them, which is the more reason why women should be educated. We also visited the administration of the University of Hargeisa, where the story took place. We met Mustafa Sudi, who is the academic registrar, and he said the story of this mother became a surprise to him and the university. She came to us and she told us that she is pregnant and more likely to deliver for, for the few, few days. So it's impossible that she delivered while the exam is, uh, is on, is, uh, the, while the exam is, is going on. So she also, also she raised a request to give a special case uh, to postpone the exam or maybe to give a special exam after, the, uh, after, the, after this exam. 
The surprise thing was the day of the exam, I saw that uh, that madam, she's in the exam venue while with uh, her baby. Hey, are you in the exam venue? Yes, she's, uh, she told me I'm ready to attend the exam and she attended. The other surprise thing was when we marked the exam, the good thing that I underline is, is I saw her name, the list of admitted students. Eh, oh my God, I surprised. I can't imagine how I was so happy when I saw her name. I send a warm congratulation to that madam who, who attended the exam, yet she's uh, in the maternity. And also she won the exam. But the other thing, there is a uh, there is a journey that she is going to follow because of there is a there is an extraordinary effort for the students who pursuing medicine. It's, it's not easy. But I, what I see, uh, what I see, this this madam Sabad is a serious. Sabad Muhammad, her plan is not only to study but also to guide the future generation by opening her own private school where many students come and study now. Hamza Dabcherin, CBA, Hargeisa.